Hey folks, it's Kayak DIY with a little tackle tip in terms of your bait storage. So, what I wanted to do was I wanted to build a bait storage setup for greenbacks and for pinfish and uh, those, those bait fish that can be a little bit picky when kayaking. So, when kayaking, you need to have good aeration. Now I have built live wells, but there's sometimes where I just want simplicity. I don't want to have to pack the live well. There's times where maybe I just want to get out on the water quick, or I'm using a kayak that doesn't really hold my live well well. So what I'll do is I would tow like those typical little yellow bait, bait, I don't know, containers that you buy at like Walmart and stuff. But that just wasn't cutting it. The fish weren't staying alive well, and it created major drag when paddling. So I ended up coming up with this little setup here for myself, and it's a bait tube. And the way I built it was I used four inch PVC pipe, and the PVC pipe actually, you can get it right at Home Depot in this length. Uh, this is a two foot section. Um, so bought four inch PVC pipe. Then I took shower drain. I kept the sticker on there for you guys so you guys could find the right one. This is all bought pretty much at Home Depot, which is like my go-to place. I'm like a kid in, a, in Toys R Us when I'm there. So um, shower drain, four inch bait tube uh, or PVC pipe, then a four inch PVC threaded cap with the threaded cap lid. Then what I did is I ended up drilling a hole in the lid. I drilled it in the center so that when I'm spinning it doesn't wrap. I knotted the rope on the inside as you can see there. And then uh, I ended up, for towing it with the, the kayak, I drilled holes on the sides. So I drill a hole here, and then I use this as kind of a gauge, these little indentations here, I use this as a gauge to be able to drill on the opposite side. So right across from that was right here, and right there I drilled the other hole. And what this does is it gives me kind of a tow, a towing point that can pivot a little bit. So I attach this end onto the kayak. And what you're seeing right here is I decided to put like a little bit of a float here. I'm noticing this is kind of dumb. This doesn't really provide any flotation at all. So this is gonna come off. Um, you could go with a little bit heavier float, um, like a quick tech, one of those little poly uh, floats. Uh, I'll have a link in the video description below for them. I think that would be a lot better fit. Um, this here is just some type of little hand reel thing that I found. Um, it was on sale for a buck in the clearance section at Walmart. I don't know if they even carry them anymore. I think it was used for tree stands and hunting to be able to lift your gear up. So that's what this is. Not sure that I'm going to stick with this setup, but for right now I am. Uh, I have bungee and a rope. This allows a little bit of flex so that when the waves hit and it creates drag on the pipe, which it is very minimal drag. Um, it's very hydrodynamic. Um, when it creates any drag uh, with waves, this flexes a little bit, so you don't get that jerking motion when you're paddling. I, for the time, put a, a large one of these grips. They're in like the tool sections. Um, the reason why I like this is um, for the Hobie TI that I have, the Hobie Tandem Island, I can just grab this and clip it right onto one of those uh, akas, and it holds it in place. Um, that's one of the reasons why I went with this setup, and then when I'm 
doing like any uh, fishing piers or anything like that, I can almost always find some place just boom, clamp it on. It's not going anywhere. If I don't have anything to clamp it on with, I can actually clamp it onto the line itself, create a loop. That works too. Um, definitely a lot of ways you can do this part, um, but highly recommend doing this. Um, depending on what type of your bait you're using, you can drill different size holes. I went with one quarter inch holes. I tried to space them relatively close to an inch on center. You know, don't overthink it, just do it. Um, you know, I tried to make it look a little bit pretty, you know, by spacing them out a little bit, but it all is going to serve the same purpose. So don't stress yourself out over it if you drill a hole and it's not perfectly lined up because I have plenty of non-perfectly lined up ones. See, look at that. It's all crooked. So anyway, this here's the bait tube. And what I'll do is I'll end up using a casting net to catch some of the, the greenbacks. And then I'll throw them in here and yeah, should keep them alive. Uh, so hopefully you like this and if you did, um, please give me a thumbs up, a like, um, subscribe to the channel so you guys can follow any other future videos I do. If you guys comment below, you can guys can give me feedback on what you think I could do better in this design. I'm, I'm happy to learn from you guys if you guys have experience and you guys have done something similar and you have found a better way of doing things. I'm all about that. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. And other areas you can follow uh, my builds and, and things I do is on Instagram. That's one of the areas that I've been using a lot. So Instagram.com slash kayak DIY or that's the username. You can find me on there and you would be able to, um, I guess, get a little bit more content from me from time to time because uh, I do use that a lot. It's a very easy platform for sharing uh, ideas. Um, also Facebook.com slash kayak DIY as well as facebook.com slash groups slash kayak DIY. So happy holidays. Um, hopefully you guys have a safe time out on the water and thanks for stopping by.